Hi, I'm Melissa. Welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about how to actually change someone, how to actually call in a different version of a person. So the way you want to get started on this is go into a deep visualization. Begin to visualize how you want them showing up. So maybe you want them saying certain things or doing certain things. Begin to imagine this. Just allow your imagination to go wild. So allow it to engage all of your senses, your hearing, your taste, your smell, your sight, and really begin to get the scene once you have the scene, what I want you to do is go in and focus on you in the scene. How are you showing up in that scene? So what that means is imagine yourself going into your body in this scene and imagine what you are feeling inside. Imagine what you're thinking. Imagine what type of person you are. And so by that, yeah, in that moment, you're probably going to be feeling pretty excited, pretty happy. But then I want you to imagine what you yourself did earlier that morning. When you woke up that morning, maybe you were with your person and that's great. You guys woke up, you had a beautiful morning together. That's wonderful. Say you're not living together yet, or maybe you are, but I want you to imagine who you are when you wake up in the morning as this version of you. What kind of morning do you have? What do you think about when you wake up in the morning? When you check your phone, what's coming up in your phone? What kind of emails are you getting? What kind of text messages are you getting? Who are you talking to? How does it feel when you're talking to these people? Okay, so once you check your phone in the morning, what kind of practices and routines do you do? Do you have a morning routine? Do you quickly, like frantically frazzled, get ready, get up and go to work? Or do you find some time for exercise and find some time to eat healthy, eat, it, eat a meal that really shows that you love yourself and respect yourself by giving yourself a meal that feels good inside of your body. Do you live mindfully like that? Then when you get to work, what's work like? Do you enjoy your job? Is it easy? Is it fun? Are you living your purpose? Are you fulfilling who you want to be? Or is it something that you dread and just do for the paycheck? Then when you're done work, what kind of activities do you engage in? Do you do things that enrich you? Do you, are you creative? Do you exercise? Do you connect with people that you love and care about and have really respectful relationship with? Or do you watch Netflix? And that's totally fine too, but how often? What are your habits? What type of person are you? When you open your banking app, what do you find? How do you feel when you open your banking app? Is it easy, casual, relaxed? Is it like, yeah, of course I know that that, that amount is in there. Like it's no surprise. So you're really probably not opening your banking app very often because you know what's happening. Or is it stressful and are you frantically waiting for money to come through? What is that like for you? So many different things aspects of your life to think about when you're around your friends and family how are you feeling are you feeling relaxed in yourself or are you feeling socially anxious and awkward what type of person are you when you are spending time and your absolute desired result with your person and i know that i said how to change a person in this video but that is actually how you call in different versions of people by calling in different versions of yourself and that version of yourself knows exactly how to call in the person that you're wanting to call in in the way that you're wanting to call them in and they have certain standards and expectations where they don't really allow people to treat them in ways that they wouldn't participate in in ways that they don't doesn't meet the standard 
And so really changing others in a significant and lasting way is about changing self. And how do we change self? It's not just visualizing. Visualizing helps. Visualizing is like kind of the jumping off point. But when you're in your visualization, knowing how you feel as that person, knowing the thoughts you think as that person, knowing how you respond to your phone, to your friends, to your emails, to your texts, to um, how long you stay on social media, what, how, you know, how you're feeling generally throughout the day. Are you pretty regulated or are you in a state of depression and anxiety more oftentimes? These things are all going to dictate whether or not you're feeling like you can manifest what you're wanting to manifest or you cannot manifest what you're wanting to manifest. So again, if you want to manifest a different version of a person, it starts with manifesting a different version of you. And the version of you that you need to manifest to manifest a different version of them is a version of you who knows they can do it. A version of you who is calm and regulated. A version of you who remembers who they are, remembers that they are the creator of their reality. A version of you that knows their consciousness creates. And so they're able to direct their focus and they're able to direct their focus because they are mostly regulated. They can still get mad, they can still have off moments, but they more often than not come back to the knowing of who they really are. All right, so I hope this video helps and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.